Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are still continuing our coverage of this newly released 5.4 model from Microsoft. The distinct thing about this model is that it's a multi-modal model that integrates language, vision and speech and audio modalities. It is based on a decoder-only transformer architecture. We already have covered this model from the vision perspective here in this video a couple of days ago and we not only locally installed it but we also tested it out with various images for OCR, for VQA and lot of other vision benchmarks. And as was promised in that video, I'm going to test this model again out in um, my local system with the audio and I will be showing you how you can use this model not only for uh, audio manipulation but also we can translate the audio which has been trans transcribed in other languages and I'm going to show you all of that step by step in this video so let's try to first get it installed and then we will talk further about this model before that let me also give a huge shout out to master compute for sponsoring this vm which is ubuntu 22.04 and this gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gpu of vram yes it's a big model and you would need at least a100 or uh, h100 to run it or any uh, um, gpu card which is compatible with flash attention because it works with flash attention so now you know what my specs are let's try to create a virtual environment and then we will proceed further because there are a lot of things which we need to install in order to get this model working so my code environment is ready next up let's install all of these prerequisites and then i'm going to also launch it in my jupyter notebook and while it gets uh, installed because it is going to take four to five minutes let's talk a bit more about this model now if you look at this diagram this gives you a high level picture of what exactly this model is all about and don't worry about all of uh, this original w plus laura thing let me explain it in simple words so as i said it's a decoder only transformer architecture so this is built this model is built on top of 54 mini it consists of 32 transformer layers with a hidden state of around 3000 for vision it uses image encoder which is siglip 400 million fine tuned with llm2 clip it also uses projector to align vision and text embedding and it also uses lora adapter or low rack adaptation for efficient adaptation for speech and audio which is the main topic of this video it uses audio encoder to process 80 dimensional log ml filter bank features Plus, it also uses an audio projector to map speech features to the text embedding space. And then it applies a LoRa with audio to attention and MLP layer for efficient adaptation. When we say attention and MLP layer, attention layers help the model focus on specific part of the input data. Well, MLP layers or multi-layer perceptrons are neural networks that process and transform the data. So that is a whole architecture which they are showing here. Also, if you look at here, what all this is doing from tokenizer, it is doing token merging and then it is doing audio or vision or speech encoding. Then it is using projector with 5.4 mini and then the output is being given. That is all what is happening here. Also, if you go through its paper, you would see that they are using mixture of LoRa. So for audio, for speech and all that stuff. And that really enables efficient adaptation to different modalities. This model is also allowing for efficient processing of images with diverse resolution, but that we already have covered in this video. It is also multilingual, so uh, multimodality, multilingual seems like a treat and we already saw that in another video that it how go, cool this thing was so i'm quite curious to see to install it with this audio to see how it goes before that um, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back here to see what is happening. Almost there, I believe. And then it is going to launch it in my Jupyter notebook. 
so let's wait for it and there you go let's download the model here so you see that i am going to go with this 54 multimodal instruct and we are downloading it and let me scroll down let's check it out you see it is downloading projector and all that stuff which i mentioned and there you go so shards are being downloaded there are three shards of it so let's wait for it mass compute speed looks really good today okay so the model is loaded and now let's try to do the inference with it so the prompt which i am using here is in the text is that transcribe the audio to text and then translate the audio to german you separate it between the original transcript and the translation and then i'm giving it the path to a local audio file in mp3 format it also supports a wave if you want to do that and then i am just using the sample rate the default one and then i am getting the response back from there i am just generating the output with the help of a model after encoding it through tokenizer and then we are decoding it back and printing out the response so let's check it out let me also quickly show you the vram consumption as the model is fully loaded onto the gpu so it is consuming over 22 gig of vram as you can see here okay but make sure that your gpu supports flash attention so let me quickly run it and there you go it has given us the response as you can see what is happiness that is separated and then there is german let me quickly also play the audio for you let me take you to my browser this is the audio which i'm using what is happiness okay so this was on my own voice what is happiness okay let's try one more in english in a female voice so i'm just going to play this leaving the corpse within the house they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments bound up by a girdle okay so what i'm going to do in this one i'm just going to um not only transcribe this text but i'm also going to uh, maybe translate it into multiple languages so i'm just going to change here so in this prompt i am asking it to transcribe this audio which i just played in brazilian portuguese czech arabic hindi and few other languages so let me run this and it has given us the response so let's scroll down so this is the original one and this is brazilian portuguese so if i quickly read it looks spot on and then if you are a, a language speaker of these languages please also help me out google translate tells me that most of them are correct i'm just quickly comparing and hindi seems bit off as per google translate but i'm not sure please confirm swahili is okay chinese persian i'm not sure persian because i think it the fonts are not there but doesn't look too bad to me pretty good i would say in terms of uh, audio transcription and speech recognition okay so next up i'm going to give it a chinese audio and i'm asking it to translate the audio into english and turkish so first let me quickly play the audio for you Yuan Okay, so now let me run it. And there you go, we have a response. And if you're a Chinese speaker, please confirm. It says not far from the entrance of the yard, there is a subway station. It's a beautiful and magical site, mailbox. And then not only English, it also has translated it into Turkish. And Google Translate tells me it is spot on. So look, uh, I believe really, really good audio and speech capabilities of this model, just like we saw in the vision one. So let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.